Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cindy, founder of buycindy.com and today I want to share with you how you can create and grow your personal brand. This video is for anyone who's interested in starting and growing an online business. Anyone from business owners to stay-at-home moms who work online as a part-time job can literally apply these techniques to grow their brand. You see, I help multiple businesses and brands reach thousands of people each and every day. And these tips that I'm about to give you have also helped these businesses I work with produce millions of dollars in revenue each and every month. So welcome to the digital age where everyone is competing for attention. I'm sure that by now you probably have some sort of social media account with a few followers. So if you have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or even a Twitter account, you're already marketing your personal brand on some level. By definition, a brand is a type of product manufactured by a particular company under a particular name. So your brand is basically how other people perceive you and the first thing that comes to their mind when they hear or see your name. The content that you post and share online is the one responsible for creating an image of you and your brand. And anytime that someone Googles your name or the name of your brand, they will create an idea in their minds of who you are and what you represent. So the first question you should be asking yourself is, why would you want to create a brand? Well, the main reason you might want to create a brand is to distinguish yourself from other companies or competition because there are millions of people competing for the same spots with similar products and services. But having a strong brand can make all the difference when acquiring customers. So when we build a strong and reputable brand, people love to buy from you, hire you, and even become fans and followers of your work. Basically, you want your products and services to become and be thought of as desirable. Now, the next thing that you want to have right after you find out the why of your brand is to create a place where people can learn and interact with your business. So I recommend having a website, but you could also be on YouTube or Facebook or any other place where your brand can have a home. Ideally, a place where people can learn and interact with your brand. Now, depending on what your brand is, there are different platforms that could be better than others. But I will explain this later on this video. So assuming that you are serious about your brand and want to be seen as a professional in your field, I highly recommend that you create a specific website or even a landing page for your business or product. You can go to godaddy.com, for example, and look up any domain name that might work for your brand and build a website. Nowadays, it's really easy and simple to create a good looking website, so you have no excuses. For example, my website is buycindy.com, and every time that I send an email with my business name, like info at buycindy.com, I make my brand look way more professional than if I were sending it from a personal email like cindy123 at gmail.com. Now, I personally think that adding your domain name and email information on your business card is also a great reason to have a website for your business. So what if you don't have a name yet? Well, the first thing that you want to do is find a name that's easy to remember and also easy to look for online. Obviously, it should be something that you like and that reflects who you are. So to give you an example, I decided to name my company by Cindy, meaning all things Cindy. And yes, it's a business and marketing company, but it revolves around me and my image. So that's why I decided to call it by Cindy, same as my website by Cindy.com. So finding a name is really important. However, do not overthink this too much because having a great brand goes way beyond having a great name. So don't let finding a name stop you from moving ahead and working on your business. It's really easy to get caught up in minor details and forget about the big picture. Sometimes people even change their brand names as they go, and that's totally fine. So just remember that perfection is the enemy of progress. Another thing to consider is that when you create a unique name or word that hasn't been used before, you will have the advantage of appearing on the top search results of search engines and be easier to find on social media platforms. So my recommendation for you is to stay away from generic names. And then of course, try to have the same name across all social media platforms, but don't worry too much if they're already taken. 
Now let's talk about how to actually build your brand. So in my case, I am the face of my brand. So I always try to incorporate my personality into everything that I do regarding my business. I love pink and blue colors as well as retro and 80s music and at the same time I want to be seen as a professional young woman that really knows what she's talking about. So it's not always perfect but over time you get better at projecting an image and this creates a story and a style. And there's always room for improvement but try to stick with the theme just get better with that specific theme instead of changing it over and over again the fun part is that you get to choose what to show just like creating a movie you are showing what you want people to see and think about you also keep in mind that your brand story must inspire an emotional reaction in order for it to be memorable now, everything that you do on the outside, from the colors you choose, to the fonts, to how you decorate your blog is secondary. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still important, but it's just the icing on the cake. So the easiest way to go about this is to add as much of your essence and taste into everything that you create regarding your brand. This is the easiest and best way to stay true to your brand. Remember, practice makes perfect and the more you do it, the better you will eventually become. And the best way to get really good at it is to put in a lot of time and effort until it becomes a part of you and your daily routine, just like working out. Next, know your audience. So basically, you need to have a clear vision of who your ideal audience could be what their interests are, their age, where they live, and so on. The more you know about your specific audience, the easier it's going to be for you to get their attention. So figure out how your brand can benefit your audience and why they need what you have to offer. Next, content. Nowadays, content is everything because content will eventually become your brand's voice and the way that you communicate with your audience. So the quality of your content is gonna determine how many people will be willing to listen and how many others will be sticking around. And this is how you express yourself digitally through text, images, videos, podcasts, and so on. Now, creating great content definitely takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. When you put out great content, you create multiple ways for people to find you and like you and your brand. And just like I said it before, don't worry, you will get better as time goes by. Now let's talk about the channels. Today we have a lot of different social media platforms where you can share your content with unlimited amounts of people. Most people recommend that you pick only one platform and become really good at it before attempting to add another one. But I believe that content is best used when you know how to repurpose it and use it on multiple platforms at once. So yes, you should understand how every social media channel works, but this doesn't necessarily mean that you should only use them when you become an expert. A great piece of advice is to follow brands and people that you admire and follow their footsteps. See how they promote their content. See how they keep their audiences engaged. There is a reason why they're on top of their game. Pay close attention and emulate them. Analyze where your ideal customer is most likely to hang out. Is it YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Pinterest? Where are they most likely to spend their time? When you know the answer to this question, you can start repurposing your content to work and be engaging on that specific platform. However, besides using your repurposed content on every social media channel, don't forget to add it also to your website. Now let's talk about consistency and perseverance. So in the beginning, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of posts and work that you're doing. But believe me when I say that if you create good content and stick with it consistently, you will see results in no time. The more posts you create, the more digital real estate you will own and eventually people will start to notice you and check out your brand. So now you might be asking yourself, well, how do I create interesting content that's engaging? And the number one way to do this is to deliver a lot of value. This doesn't mean that you have to be serious and offer some type of lecture. You want to educate and be entertaining at the same time. You want to show your audience that you are an expert in your field and that your content is worth their time. Basically, aim at inspiring your audience. Keep them engaged until they familiarize themselves with you and your brand. Eventually, they will go to your website and feel comfortable enough to buy from you. You don't want to look like a desperate salesperson on social media. That never works. 
What you want to do is create trust and the rest will follow. So focus on creating content that is interesting to your audience and not just you. And that's it for today. We've reached the end of this tutorial, but hopefully not the end of your journey. So if you want to keep learning in business, in life, and in marketing, subscribe to my channel and visit my website, buycindy.com. I'll see you soon.